Good evening, YouTube. It is I, Random Robin, and tonight we are playing the Duchess Opal again. <laughs> However, this is the final version. It has a nice little intro screen here. So, this is probably going to be a little different than last time. I assume it's going to be different than last time. Oops. Uh, uh, the developers actually commented on the previous video and told me that this was coming. And I told them I would gladly play again. Because honestly, the, the development build that I played was not bad at all, to be honest. And if this is the final product, then I'm looking forward to it. So... Let's go ahead and hop right in, shall we? Hope everyone's doing good. Staying healthy and safe. I've been into ships for as long as I can remember. Yeah. Even when I was little, I begged my parents to take me on tours of historic liners. So when a security guard position opened up on the Duchess Opal, I jumped. We get a bit she may more not leave the docks these days, but she's still one of the most beautiful ships in the world. And I'm getting paid to make sure she stays safe at night. Cool. That's a nice little intro. Weird. Thought for sure somebody would be here to greet me first night on the Ooh, job. Look, there's like writing on the papers now. Oh well. I should check the desk for a note. Okay, it's all the same stuff, I assume. All the same controls. Has to look. So, okay, so this this is definitely different than the one I played before. Anything is possible with food. <laughs> uh, what does that say? Uh, hang on. Uh, nap. Hang on. Uh, nap time is, I think, nap time is everywhere. I think. <laughs> so long as they're cats. Okay, that's the save journal. Last time it was just like a big white block. <laughs> uh, one, whoops, sorry. One second, make sure everything is all set up right. There we go. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, that was the attack. <laughs> uh, just making sure everything's good to go. So we want these. And it's, uh... F to use those, and a Q for those. Welcome to your first night on the RMS Duchess Opal, Elaine. You did great during orientation yesterday, so I know you're going to be a great asset for us here. The running report forms are on the filing cabinet by the door. Make sure you fill one out after every patrol. The more you check in, the better. So if you see or hear anything that's even a little out of whack, make sure to loop bound back to report it the first chance you get. Start with the areas on your route list for your first patrol. Get a feel for the place on your own. Since it's the off season and we don't have any guests, you won't have to worry about dealing with tourists Stop snooping around where they shouldn't. But don't let that make you complacent. Vacationers are the least of this ship's worries anyway. So this is the same note from before, I believe. On the desk, there are some batteries for your stun baton and first aid supplies. There should be more than enough to last you for the entire night. I know you can only carry so much, but you can always run back here and grab some more if you're running low. Sorry for not hanging around to hand things over to you in person. This will make me sound paranoid, but I always try to get to shore before dark. Superstitious old man I, and stuff, I suppose. I promise. <laughs> well, I hope, anyway. Good, good. That That's a good thing to put there. <laughs> I know this will sound weird, but just watch your back. The old girl's ghost walk at night. There's a reason I didn't work the night shift anymore uh let's see last thing if something happens you can't handle remember that the radio is your connection to the shore one call for help and the cavalry shall come running okay in the same path okay jim very funny try and spook the new kid i get it okay yeah these don't mean anything unless they updated that and then this is our save And then, yep. Okay. Let's see how the old girl looks, shall we? Guest hall first. I need to check this whole area before I go downstairs. 
So, this looks fairly much the same. Actually, hang on. Let me... I think... Yeah, that was the Ren. Okay. I know I need to check that, but I just want to read the right board to see if that information is the same here. Everything's after... Okay, so I don't even get to read those yet. I, I like how they're filled out now, though. They're not just blank. Looks much nicer. Uh, let's see. Majestic RMS Duchess Opal was launched 1928. Okay, the, this is the same for information. So the game is basically the same, but now you can actually reach the ending. Uh, when I played before, you couldn't reach the ending. Like, I, I got to, I got all the equipment, all the things needed, and then nothing happened. So, but now the, uh, the developers assured me this version, everything is there. So, let's see. Whew. Sorry if I seem out of breath. I'm a little out of it today. <laughs> uh, the Dutch Chopo was launched in 1928 by the Mermaid Fair Company. Her designer was the famed Miles Owen, who was renowned for his ability to quickly dream up and map out any ship requested of him. Owen said all of the ships he ever designed, the Duchess Opal was the nearest and dearest to his heart. Nearest and dearest to his heart, huh? That's putting it mildly. According to the records, Owen was obsessed with the Duchess Opal. He practically quit working so he could go on every voyage, right up until he disappeared at sea in the 1930s. He boarded her in Ireland, but never disembarked when she arrived in New York. I guess you wouldn't want to tell the people staying here about that, though. Thanks for the input, Elaine. Also, Elaine's voice is good. <laughs> uh, let's see. This is the little medallion thing. The regal duchess, an amulet fashioned from a coin commemorating the duchess opal's maiden <laughs> voyage. Oh, if only. Right. Intended to collect all the happy memories that follow artists. Artists unknown. Okay. The safe, which I believe, if I, if the code's the same. Okay, I don't need to go that way. All clear here. Time to head down to the dining room. I can get there with the elevators. Cool. Do, do, do. So we're kind of just running through the game again. But this time we'll actually be able to see the ending. The door to the engine room should be on the other side of the dining hall here. Yeah. Oh, ain't that pretty. It's a poster for a documentary about the history... Ooh, pardon me. Of the ship they show in the theater on the other side of the room. Cool. It's hosted by a woman they call the Spirit of the Duchess. I loved it as a kid. Nifty. Uh, yeah, it tells, I don't know why it tells me to run right here, because... Oh, there's the broken one. So, I, I know where the tools are. They're over here. But you can't do anything with it yet. So they come down here. So this game's a little bit of back and forth. In. Whoa. It's spooky in here. Yeah. Still, I need to check the whole room before I go back. Okay. All is well here. Clear. Oh, thank God. Now to get back to the control room and file that running report. Hey, is there a file cabinet there now? Why? Okay, ship's all good. No crazy stuff happening here. No siree. Let's go ahead and head on back to base, folks. At least stuff goes bad once I get back. What the? Another one? Oh! I think that's new, because... I don't remember there being two. i do this. Yep. What's going on? I should try and call Shore with the radio on the desk. God, I hope there's emergency power going to it. Yeah, we certainly hope, don't we? Damn. No good. Oh, the, the radio looks out. better, too. I might be starting to type panic here a little. Type panic. <laughs> I think I saw a fuse box or something in the engine room. 
See if I can at least get the power to the radio back. Okay, so now stuff's happening. Let's go ahead and do this. Save. Alright, so... I wonder if they updated... The elevators will be out, but there's a staircase next to them I can use. Yeah, you don't really run down the stairs. Okay. I saw him. He was like walking over here. Hey, are you okay? Is he over here still? There Whoa. He is. Stop right there and get on the ground. I mean it. Get on the ground. Come on. I said get down. I'll use force if I have to. Jeez, what was wrong with that guy? I need to get the power on and radio shore to call for an assist. <laughs> but wait, what's going on with the amulet over there? Yeah. So the first time you interact with that guy, he generally seems to... This is something I'm curious about. It feels warm and kind of comforting somehow. I think I should take it with me. God knows I need the luck right now. Yeah. Anyway, I need to get to the engine room and try to get the power back on so I can contact Shore for help. So last time I took the amulet, it filled up a gauge on the top left there, but it didn't like do anything. Also, I noticed our, our, our enemy there now has a, what you call it? A weapon. <laughs> Are there more broken ones of these? I might need to keep an eye out for those. Okay. And then I need to go right here. Uh, yeah, so they now, now he's holding a weapon. And he took a couple extra... I think, no, the first time I fought him, he took a couple extra hits, too. I just wonder if there's more of them now. Oh, there is! Hey, bud. Okay, he's down. Key to refill that. Have to heal. So now we got more guys running around here, which is good. You know, because this area used to be just a big empty nothing, so. Now now we got some more threats going on. My real question is. There he is. So does he do more? Hey, friend. Do you do more to me now, or do you still just stand, kind of stand guard there? Alright. Uh, get away, get away, get away. Oh, there's more of you. Oh, there's more. Okay, so now there's two of them, but they still just kind of sit there looking menacing. Which is fine. Oh, this, oh there's something here now. Make some pages torn out of a journal. Let's see. Taking on my first night shift tonight. Told the guys, and they all look, looked at me like I'm nuts. Started telling me about how it's dangerous down here at night. Blah, blah, blah. Sure, this place gets spooky in the dark, but I'm not missing out on after hours pay because of some campfire stories about haunted ships. So this is new. This is a new thing to look at. Besides, according to their own stories, the amulet will keep me safe, right? Last night got weird. Guess the stories got to my head more than I thought. I saw some weird shapes in the shadows. I could have sworn they were moving. Hate to admit it, but I was too freaked out to take a closer look uh, by myself. Uh, let's see. I'll see if security has an extra weapon I can bring down to the engine room tonight. Just in case. Gonna take my journal so I can write down whatever happens before I can forget. Maybe we got stowaways or really big rats. Yeah. Security told me no way I'm borrowing a weapon. Guess I should have seen that coming. Whatever. I'll just keep a wrench on me all night. Maybe I won't see anything. Something's watching me. Oh. Screw this place. I'm quitting. Consider this my letter of resignation. I'm leaving this journal here for any poor bastard who might find it. To whoever reads this, use the amulet. I know it sounds crazy, but it works. Just like the stupid stories say. I tried it. I tied it to my wrench, and it was able to finally take down one of those things. Oh, so now we can fight the big guy. Now I'm getting the hell out of here, and you'll do the same thing if you know it's good for you. So. Okay. So this was... So I need to take these cells out, and then I need to put those there. The puzzle was you had to like, there you go. Yeah, you had to fill in the, that should do, right? Yeah. Okay, just gotta get back to that radio and call shore. Yeah, I remember the puzzle. So the amulet can apparently hurt those but I'm not 
trying to fight them if I can avoid them. So now I gotta go talk to the radio and then it'll tell me to find parts. So let's run. Okay, so I can't fight those yet. In fact, let's avoid any needless fights for now until I get back to the base. Okay, that guy's coming at me. Fighting doesn't do anything extra for you, so. Okay, so I can use the elevators. This guy usually spawns like right here in front of us. Yeah, there he is. There we go. I'm guessing there's more of them now. Like, there's got to be, like, one or two more that I haven't seen yet. Okay, let's check the radio. Now the radio's broken? Are you serious? Where am I going to find replacement parts? I need to find three replacement components. Okay, and if everything's in the same locations, I, I know where we're going here, so... Let me just go ahead and stock up. Okay, and then I need to look at this. A suspicious or all reports of weird noises and shadows have made it high enough up the chain. Okay, yeah, so this is the same little thing. Uh, found a multi tool on the floor in the hall. Okay, so that's the thing in the dining room. There should be a code for it on here. It's 728. Don't take, don't take to dining room, or Rich will freak out again. Okay. And then there's a code. Okay. And this is for the safe. Okay, so that information is all the same. If you watch the previous video, you'll know uh, the code is downstairs, and then I get the multi-tool, and then I get... I, okay, I, I know what I'm doing. So, we're going to save. Oh, we can't save? Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, well, I know where things are. And then the code to the save is left, right, left, right, 1928. Okay. Let's go, bud. What? Hey, where'd he go? What the hell? Normally he respawns like every time I'm in here. Is he patrolling down the hall? Oh, there you are. Hey, let's do this. There you go. Sneaky jerk. I don't like that I hear the breathing after you're down. So does it want me to fight one of those shadow ones at some point? Because it, it tells me the amulet can be used for that. Okay, so is uh... Left. Right. 19... 20... There we go. Got the coins. Yeah. Thankfully, I remember the, I remember the information, so <laughs> that makes things a little easier. So, uh, developers, I gotta say the finished product's much better already. <laughs> it just, it feels better. Okay, so he's not respawned. Uh, let's go ahead and go downstairs. I need the multi-tool. Oh, yeah, bud. Hello? Oh, there you are. Alright, let's do this. Made those guys a little tougher. Uh, let's see. Okay, so multi tools over here. Yeah, thankfully, uh, all the stuff's locations are the same. And that's, what was it, 728? Okay, multi tool. Oh, you get. Oh, there's a visual there. <laughs> nice. So then you take the multi tool and you come to this thing. Yep. You take that, and then the, I now know where the other one is. So. Oh, it makes me wonder though. Was this like? Did I miss the other one, and that's why I couldn't advance before? Or where yet?
Yeah, I noticed he takes a couple extra hits now. And then now I found this. Okay, so that should be three components. Come in here. Okay, let's go ahead and just freshen up here. Bam. And then... And that should do it. Since the Duchess Opal is a permanently moored vessel, I don't need to worry too much about radio etiquette, but I should still try and do it right. Okay. Mayday, Ooh, mayday, mayday. This is Duchess Opal. Duchess Opal. Duchess Opal. I am trapped in the ship with multiple hostiles. Over. Duchess Opal, this is Cape Regency. What is your location? Over. My oh. location? I'm on the Duchess Opal. She is permanently moored at the port. Over. Negative, Duchess Opal. You've been missing since the fog rolled in two hours ago. Over. Oh, shit. What? That can't be possible. Listen, I need you to keep calm. What's your name? Over. I like this little Elaine Benning. I'm a security guard. Over. Let me guess. It's your first night on the job and you're all alone on the ship except for some weird monsters, right? Uh -oh. Over. They've heard this before. Yeah, exactly. Wait. Has this happened before? Affirmative. It happened to me on my first night there seven years ago. Oh, shit. <laughs> Him too? I took this job here at the station because I knew it would happen again one day. No one believed me back then, but I believe you now. And I'm going to do my best to help you. That said, you need to trust me, all right? Over. Oh. I'll take whatever help I can get here, sir. Over. That ship's just like any one of us. She's got darkness inside her. <laughs> That's not all there is. She still has goodness and happiness deep within. Am I about to learn how to use the reminder of that? It takes light to drive away the shadows. Okay. Drive the bad away using the good? <gasps> the amulet. Bingo. You need to go down to face the As, as much as I'm ship. enjoying the fact Spirit. that this actually has a cutscene now, remember the her immobile face is kind of funny to me. <laughs> Don't show. get me wrong, developers. I'm stoked that the, all this is no, going. No, wait. But Cape Regency, come in. Can you hear me? Over. Oh, no, we lost him. Damn it. Well, if I'm going to make a show of it, I'd better do it where there's a stage. Uh, not the dining. Oh, I remember there's a theater. Okay, so I need to make my way downstairs, because I, I remember that. I remember the theater. I'm guessing I have to go fight those dark monsters at some point, but it feels weird that I have to do that. Where are you at, bud? I don't like that I can't see him. <laughs> like, I don't like that he will randomly spawn elsewhere. Okay, so there should be one trolling around here somewhere. There he is. You know what? We're going to run right past you. There we go. Ooh, we get to see more of the ship now. Last time we didn't get to see the theater. Okay, oh, Duchess, what the hell? Time to end this nightmare of yours. What? 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 Uh, hold up. How do I... Do I actually have to come up and... Oh, wait, I'm taking damage from this. This isn't working. I need something that can concentrate the amulet's power right into the Duchess. I'm taking damage. I need to... There's a space here. I think I can fit the amulet into. Did I just wail on her now? Okay. Shoot. I need to let it reset. Hurry up. Oh, shit. Okay, hang on. Okay. So we get like a boss battle here. Nice. How long do I got a whale in her for? I wonder. I can't, I'm kind of digging the boss battle here. Okay, come on. I don't like that I take damage even when I'm away from her, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, please. Don't die. Problem is I'm out of health, kids. Come on. Come on. Shoot. I need to let it reset. Hurry up. Yeah, please. Can't have that much more in there, does she? Uh oh. 
I think I can only take one more hit. Please, please do it now. I think I'm about to die. Can I, can I like escape? <laughs> no, I'm dead. Wait, what's going on? She's not responding to anything. Did I break her? I'll take it. <laughs> I might have broke her. She's not like doing anything to me. Um. I'm assuming I should be dying to her right now, or she should be losing to me, right? Or can I like just walk away and go get more stuff? Uh, wait. Oh, there's, oh, 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 oh. I hope that gives you a little peace. And don't worry, I'll be telling people to listen to you more closely from oh. now on. <laughs> I'll also be telling them to give Nightwatch security guards pay raises. <laughs> nice. Oh, I guess we did it. Hooray! <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> so, yeah, that was that was that was nice. Good job, developers. Uh, I think the the Duchess there bro broke near the end, but you know what? I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth, you know, because I was down. There's no way to like survive that if you if you're not understanding what's happening. Uh, <laughs> I will say, getting an actual ending out of it was much better than the not happening. So I'm glad I got to do that. And, you know, uh, to all the developers or anyone, you know, who was part of it, this is good stuff. I liked it. You know, it's it's not the super fanciest things that we all see nowadays, but you know what? I it don't need to be fancy for me. It uh <laughs> I do I it helped that I remembered all the information before. <laughs> but uh no, and I like that you gave us a threat in the the dining hall because before the dining hall was just a big open space of nothing, like running back and forth all day in there. I, you know what? I should I should have looked at the inventory because last time the inventory was always blank even when I had stuff but this time I bet it would have shown stuff so I should I should have done that but I didn't think about it <laughs> but yeah developers I very much appreciate the fact that you guys reached out in the comments there to tell me about this because I was once you told me I was looking forward to it and I didn't think it'd be so soon but there we are <laughs> and then uh, for everyone who watched and you know, for everyone who possibly enjoyed it, uh, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed already and would like to, I'd appreciate it. Uh, leave a like, you know, comment, all that good stuff. And, uh, yeah. That's been the Duchess Opal. And, uh, until next time, have a good one.